This is our current situation. It's about 11 o'clock and he is not having it. Even though Kone is lying there. Shame. You hear that for the most part. So we'll give it about. Five um, minutes and then again, I'm next to me. It's almost midnight. And this is what it has come to. We still don't want him to sleep with us because we haven't really trained this little bugger to sleep with a closed crate. So he's only used to an open crate. So Danette and I have decided to we'll sleep next to him. And then when he falls asleep, we'll put him in the crate every time so he keeps waking up in the crate and feels safe there. So till then, say good night. Say good morning. Good morning. Oh. Where's your crate? Where are you gone? Is your crate gone? Yeah, the crate. <laughs> oh. Boop. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is day two of having little Schmidt with us. It was a, a quite an interesting evening because, you know, we knew that it wouldn't go uh, perfectly. And there was like a little gap in our training methods because we thought okay we're gonna get him used to the crate and then in the evening we can see if he can sleep in the crate but what we did wrong which is a big tip that I would give is don't close the crates on the first evening because we got him used to the crates and he he loves his crate now at the moment he really really does but he loves his crate with the door open so that he has the option of having the freedom so that's what we were training on and then in the evening he fell asleep we put him in the crate and then we closed the door and that freaked him out he was still asleep but by the time he woke up he saw that the door was closed and he really didn't like it. He really didn't like that the door was closed. And there's a difference between moaning and whining a little bit. And you can hear the anxiety. You can hear that he's really, really upset. And then we gave, we gave it about five minutes. And then we thought, no, this isn't going to work. And then we moved the couch to the crate. And we slept next to the crate while closing off most of our living area. And then we slept next to the crate with the door open. So he would fall asleep on the bed next to us. And then we would put him in the crate. And then he would sleep there for two hours. We also put the alarm for every two hours so that he can go potty. And that helped a lot. Because this morning when I was making coffee, he all of a sudden ran from the kitchen out to to go potty and that was something that he has learned now in the last day is his grass area is now his potty area that's the one thing that really worked well is our potty schedule every two hours we will take him out and he will go potty so that is a definite win for us so the evening we you know we set our alarms i would go at 10 and then my boyfriend would go at 12 and then i would go at 2 in the morning he went at 4 and then it, we wanted to wake up at about 5 30 but we were exhausted so we took him out he we brought him back in and from like 6 30 to 7 he was restless and then we were like okay we need to we need to wake up and we need to get the day going now he needs food and he needs to play time and all of that so that is our update well our pup date for night one in um uh, with schmidt in his new home i feel like you're killing me softly i need it like no one need it early it's all um, the dishwasher is on just to get him used to the sound. He has some serious FOMO because he would go into the crate and now he's just looking at me. I'll show you now. But he is, he's going into the crate for like two seconds because he loves his crate. And then he's like, okay, but I don't want to miss anything. So then he comes back out again. No, don't come on the couch. Okay, so this is the pup day. Hello, can you come down, down from the couch, please? You're not old enough for the couch yet. Yes. Yes, let's, let's show everyone how good you are with your crates because I sprinkle food in the crate so um, he would just like go into the crate camp. But now when I'm busy with, with something he would just voluntarily go into the crates and just like chill there. So that's making progress. He's being a very good boy. Let's get you some treats.
so just a pop date on today we are blowing up our um, matches to put next and he is doing so well with this noise i got a sit out of him i even got a little bit of a down he is just so chilled he um went outside for a bit but not like out of fright or anything so he's doing super well with the blow up matches and all of the noise i must say he's being so easy going with the whole new experiences and new noises and all of that so sorry for all the noise guys but i had to share how good he's doing with all of this so night number two and we're not taking any chances we blew up the the mattress and um, everything's ready for night number two so and he sock has a sock whose sock is it it's mine quick update on our current uh, progress with everything so the first couple of nights were really really hectic so but only the first two so that was fine um, I was pleasantly surprised to see how quickly we progressed with the crate training so the first two nights we actually slept next to the crate first night he was really uneasy so it, it ended up with him sleeping with us on the mattress and then we would put him into his crate as soon as he is asleep and then he would wake up in the Great. when we wake him up to go potty and then you know it's the whole process through the night um every two hours every two to three hours and then the second night it was much better because he ended up falling asleep in his crate and then we would only wake him up when it's time to go potty every two to three hours and the third night we actually slept in our room uh, because he wasn't crying on the second evening at all so the third night we actually slept in our room and we would just take him out every two to three hours for a potty break and that worked really really well and that night we actually overslept through our i think it was the 2 a.m alarm to take him out to party so he ended up not going out so he slept through four hours without a party break that one evening and that was great but we're not going to take any chances going forward so yeah the crate training is really doing well and then we also focus on uh, the training during the day so we're focusing on sit so we're focusing on down we are doing leave it uh, leave it is still you know a work in progress as well as recall training and then we are, we're also working on stay so stay is also a new one and then we're playing a lot with him making sure that he's getting proper exercise in although he's still a puppy and his bones and joints aren't completely grown so we are taking it very slow with the whole exercising routine we are so socializing also and things are going really well with that and then with the potty training it's doing well because we take him out we are very very strict with ourselves to take him out often and we keep the door open for him during the day although it's winter so it's a little bit cold that's why i'm wearing a jacket inside so we keep the door open for him to go party because he knows that the grass outside the grass area outside is his designated area for him to go party so he just goes out by himself now and it's only been like five days i think so he is doing super well with the party training and if the door is closed he would just run to the door so we he doesn't make any sound so we need to make sure that we see him when he runs to the door so that we can open the door for him and then he goes out and you know does his thing and then we make sure that we praise him properly when he is done with his potty so we give him a treat we give him praises and that's that's the thing that he loves so i think that's why he keeps doing it so well and yeah that's our pup date for today I hope you guys enjoyed this is just like a good reality check for you guys to see that if you are considering getting a puppy the first thing that I would encourage you to do is to make sure that you are home for the first couple of days completely like don't leave the house I only left the house I think after four days with him just to make sure that I have I know that he's comfortable in his crate he knows that he is safe and he doesn't get so much separation anxiety although during the day I'll make sure that I leave him in the crate but he knows that I'm still home and that's the thing that makes a difference so many people take days off but they don't train their dogs to be comfortable with being by themselves so they continuously with the dog for a couple of days and then all of a sudden they go back to work and then they're not with their dog at all for like a good eight hours and that's the thing that creates so much separation anxiety so that is also going well i am only scheduling some appointments that uh, ensures that i'm not out of the house for more than two hours so that is helping a lot because oh, as soon as i get home i see that he's very calm we also want to get a pet cam um soon so that i know what exactly is happening in the house but as far as i know he is super calm i make sure that i give him amazing treats when he's in his crates so that 
that he loves that space because that's the place where he gets all his fun toys and all of his treats. So that is our worst situation at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you know of anyone who would love the series, please recommend the series to them. I appreciate you all and I hope you have an amazing day. Say bye.